What's going on guys? Welcome back to the RTG for Crystal Palace. As you can see, the title race is hotting up. We are nearly there. Four points clear of Arsenal because they slipped up in their last game. And we have three final matches today. <sighs> I really don't want to go to Aston Villa on the final day. If we can wrap it up at West Ham, that would be great for me because... Aston Villa are literally my bogey team. I'll go as far as saying they're my rival. But yeah, I think we can do it. We're so close, guys. First up, we have Everton. And Danilo is a main fixture in the side, as you guys know. Um, and everyone has trained perfectly, to be honest. Everyone is up and raring to go for the title charge. We are ready to bring this home. Let's go, Eagles. We simply have to focus on this man. It's been confirmed. He'll retire at the end of the campaign. It looks a good team to me. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Well, as we look at the table, the visitors have been dazzling us with their attractive brand of football, playing to their potential and then some, Stuart. Well, what a story this is. They're the best team in the league at the moment, no doubt about that. They now need to hold their nerve. This is going to be a great end to the season. Palace regaining possession. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the card. Sheikh Dukouré. And Edouard with it. Fluency of movement. And making sure nothing unto And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, Gomes. And Gomes. And he's in. Oh, but denied. Full credit to the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. Well, they won't get too many chances, so they need to make the most of this. Played over. And a goal to level this contest. All in. Plenty of support here. And it might be. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. And what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. Delhi. Odson Edouard. Still looking for space. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And the such a reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing West Ham United. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Well, that took confidence. Can he make it count? Oh, good save. Gomes. Beto. Oh, very effective play in possession. Will he find the net? Four marks to the... Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Who can he pick out? Not the most confident clearance. Electing to shoot. And denied by the keeper. Impre and what a magical save it was. Trying to deliver it accurately. And the danger is still there. Deli Alley. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Not really the ideal clearance. Trying his luck. Well, behind for another court. Bobby Reid. Gomes. Coleman. Oh, really? 
commanding goalkeeping. Whew, that thing was crazy. You know, I really thought we were going to concede when we conceded like three, four corners. So I tried to shore up the game a little bit, born Sanchez and Lerma for Eze and Decore, who was lagging a little bit. Also brought on Cruz, um, just because he has more energy and injury on the left wing for Lise, just to bring more energy and to also try and sh shore out the game. <sighs> Let's get back to it. Just 10 minutes to go. And showing fine vision. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, that's a clinical finish. He just put his head down and smashed it past the keeper. There was no stopping that, was there? And the substitution will occur now. And he struck the post. Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good... Could be goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. And that will be a corner. Oh, disappointing clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! And that will be all for this game. It goes into the history books as a victory for Crystal Palace. How Let's would you sum this up? Well, Derek, they were the better team all match. over the pitch. We saw what good individual performances. We saw an never die. Can Dean I ask you a couple of questions? Our goalkeeper probably had the match of his career. The match of the save. The match of this road to glory. I've always sang his praises, but this match, he showed exactly why. He deserves to be champion. That is the type of performance you want to see from your goalkeeper when you're going for a Premier League title. Save after save. I really thought we were going to concede when we were conceding corner after corner, like I mentioned earlier. But we came Thank through, you for your time. we focused well. And it was nice to see the youngster also get on the score, on the score sheet with that long range shot. Speaking of youngsters, they actually brought on our Brazilian wonder kid Gomez, um, who had and he also had a really good shot against us. So it was a nice little cameo to see him play as well. Um, he's definitely gonna have a place in the squad next season because his dribbling is like ninety. I want to say ninety nine, but I know it's in the nineties. So yeah, that's a definitely one to keep an eye on next season. We keep on moving. Let's go, you Eagles. On to the next game. West Ham. But before all of that, what is going on here? Our youth players, why are they all unsettled? They were growing fine in the academy. Why are they unsettled? I'm actually confused. There's at least, what, there's like nine of them here? This is insane. This is like they all came together and said, you know what, we're going to go to the boss and we're all going to request game time. And if he doesn't... If he doesn't play ball... We're going to hand in our notice and tear up our contracts. This is insane. I thought they were growing fine in the youth academy. Why are we forced to promote them? That's crazy, man. That's actually crazy. I know I've got a few guys in there that I would love to keep. Um, but if that's the game they want to play then so be it I mean they're only 18 some of them are 17 why are they trying to force my hand do you know what that means I'm going to show them who's boss some of them will come up and play 
but the majority will be sent out on loan. You know, it would be cool if they incorporated some type of feature in the game where the youth academy actually play games or play matches, or you can try to have feeder clubs in which you can send out your youth players and watch them develop. And, you know, you can see their stats, you can request that they play in specific positions, you can speak to the manager, have a bit more interaction around their overall growth. Like this Pedro Moreno guy, he looks like he's going to be quite a player. So, you know, he's definitely going to get a contract. I actually, I actually gave all of the guys that were unsettled a new, a new contract in the senior for the senior team. Uh, my thinking is um, we can't really lose. Bring them up, um, see what they can potentially offer to the team. Um, loan them out, help their um, development and see how far we can take them. Because at the end of the day, we scouted them we brought them into our youth academy so we can maybe make a pretty dollar off them and i'm also interested to see the game mechanics when it comes to developing youth when it comes to um how players develop that bangora guy looked really good i don't know why he has such a low ranking is that something to do with like his um determination like he has a low ranking because they don't believe he has enough passion to hit a high score because he did look like he had decent defensive stats as well. Um, so yeah, so I also gave contracts to the goalkeepers, like I mentioned. Um, people that have average to good potential, I gave them a shot. So yeah, we move. I will probably do another episode at the start of next season, which goes through all of the youth players that we have, those out on loan, those that we've just promoted, look, looking at their stats and seeing how we can best develop them um, for future seasons. Because we have quite a few stars that are out, to be honest. Um, and it will be very interesting to see how they integrate back with the squad. Um, and then we obviously we have these new guys that were promoted as well, which are probably going to get loaned out. But who knows, I might keep a few in the first team squad. On to West Ham. So the only change you saw me do really was bring in Daniel, who has impressed as a defensive midfielder, um, really showing good athleticism. <laughs> and um, his eye for a pass is really good as well. Whenever he wins the ball, I feel like Edward gets on his bike. Eze, um, Raksaki and Olise, Raksakinio and Olise, you know, as a um, these guys, I feel like they really lock into his style of play. And they give him the options. They take up really good positions and they're ready to hit the team on the counter-attack. But guys, this is the game. If we win this game, we are going to be crowned champions. All we need to do is beat West Ham. Like I said to you guys already, I don't want to really go to the last day of the season against Aston Villa because they're my bogey team. It'll make a great story because Aston Villa, you know, they're... Uh, them, they're one of my rivals <laughs> but I do not want to go to Villa on the last day having to win and Arsenal having to lose um, but guys if we win this next game we are going to be crowned Premier League champions let's go you Eagles no doubt about it the fans are on tenterhooks ahead of this one they know full well that the heroes could today clinch the league title will they do it it's west ham united they take on crystal palace live hoping and expecting to see their team clinch the title they've come here in their thousands and what an atmosphere they're creating i just hope they're not disappointed come the end of the game keeper did his job to begin with Well, they can bring it out now. And a look at the West Ham 11. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Under pressure now, it's a long time to be on a booking. Targets available, cross comes in. And the keeper really reacts. Keeper, that we can say. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Making progress. Laid into the box. Just the clearance that was called for. Oh, big 
chance. Oh, he's done it! And we might just have witnessed the goal that secures the title. Well, moment that could turn out to be. They've just got to defend well now. Encouraging move from West Ham. But they dealt with the threat first. Drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. And they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Will he find the net? And a fantastic diving save. They favoured a short one here. And the cross into the middle. Oh, a goal it is! But no need to panic just yet. Well, that certainly makes it interesting. You can feel the anxiety out there. Let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Guehi. Ebereci Ezi on the ball. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Could take the lead. It was on its way in. Well, look at the celebrations. They certainly believe so. Still a job to do, but surely they won't throw it away from this position. Well, these half bodies can be really difficult, but just look at his skill here. That's a wonderful finish. No nonsense clearance. Happy to take on the shot, and the keeper's hand does the trick. West Ham maybe with an opportunity to equalise here. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, there's the half-time whistle, and it's all going swimmingly. They're just 45 minutes away from being crowned champions today. Well, what a position to be in. They just need to perform well in this second half, and as you said, they will be the champions, and fully deserved, I would say. They've been excellent this season. Mohamed Kudus. Mitchell Sasha Bowie almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes distributing it well what can he do with it now Odson Edouard well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, after a slow start when it was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. Fine work from Pavas to win it back. Cutting it back. And able to get a body in the way. And a double substitution it's going to be. The league coming up here on EA TV. It's West Ham United facing Everton. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, it might be. Well, he stormed through. But it didn't end well for him. Well, in those situations, you have to make a few decisions. Unfortunately, he's made the wrong one. Oh, he's through here. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. It's there for him. And 
unable to close down the shot. Well, Palace have certainly bossed the game in the last 15 minutes. Oh, Wayne Stewart, they might score. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Now he must favour the cross. Cuts it back. Lacazette here. Real chance. No way through. It's Crystal Palace facing Aston Villa. And Palace could be onto something. And a useful cross. Well, didn't miss by very much, and never easy to strike it on the volley in that fashion. Well, from that range, it be a goal. At least it should hit the target. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Electing to shoot. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Ball retention so important. Ball at his feet. Lacazette is in the centre. Can he compose himself? A terrific defending to stop them progressing. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. There's the whistle, and the celebrations can truly begin in earnest now. They are the champions. And no doubt about it, they've been the best team this season, and they fully deserve this title. What a brilliant achievement for everybody involved with this club. Well, the celebrations will continue long into the night. And don't forget, they'll receive the trophy at their next home game. Naturally, we'll have all the coverage of that live here on EA TV. Campeones, campeones, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you eagles. What a performance, what a game. Oh my days, that was tough. Man, I thought West Ham were coming to ruin the party. But Eagles never die. That's the motto for the season. Eagles never die. Our front line always looked threatening, always looking to score. But this game was down to our defence. Gwehi in particular and Henderson, them two guys all season long. And today, when it mattered most came through clutch i'm so grateful for those guys whether we can keep them in the summer scene as we've achieved a big 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 monumental challenge Just today a questions for you. that's another thing to be seen i'm not sure which of these players will want to continue their journey at selhurst park and want to try and go for world domination because you know we still have to go for the champions league but today is about the players we did fantastic that was a tough game. Olise, Eze. Ooh, Eze. I've run out of words for Eze. He just scored. He scored some important goals this season. And today he really showed his quality again and came through as a leader. And I'm lost for words. Crystal Palace are Premier League champions. Thank so you, happy I didn't have to go to Aston Villa and try to win. As you saw, Arsenal won their game. So if we had lost today, we would have been one point ahead of Arsenal going into that Aston Villa game, which I will not be fond of. Whew! Come on, you Eagles. Let's go! I even forgot Jordan Ayew was retiring end of the season, but I'm in a good mood after that Premier League win. <laughs> so, you know, it's what you deserve, bro. You can have the final match to say goodbye to the fans i hope you guys have locked in and you're ready to say your goodbyes to jordan ayu because this is it over and out at least he signs out with a premier league cup um cup winners medal right what more can you ask for on to aston villa we simply have to focus on this man he's been in stunning form scoring goals for fun Live action coming up next on EA TV. Hello, 
from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Crystal Palace up against Aston Villa. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking for a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Really clever pressing. Rafa. Might be a chance here. And denied by the keeper. It... Well, confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions. I say that, but today is the day when they'll receive that much cover. Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. Able to get his body in the way. Well, good run and good ball control. And a goal! Mitchell and Edouard with it well the flag has gone up here offside it is Sheik with it Bubakar Kamara opportunity it is and it's a double for him in this game no way for the opposition to contain him and no wonder he's off celebrating Schick we're getting the ball forward and Patrick Schick now oh good work to deny the opportunity Chalhanolu pulls it back and you cannot argue with a hat-trick simply unstoppable today well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Odson Edouard. Well, a really good run. Cutting it back. And not cleared away properly. In it goes! And the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But at the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Oh, the threat is there. Oh, cleared away. Superb defending. Massive credit. Well, they know they need to stop him. The fans want to see a shot. Oh, it's in! And just like that, they're right back in it with all the momentum. So at half time I opted to bring on Jordan Ayew for Odson Edward. So make sure in the comment section you show your love as this is his final game for the Eagles. Crossing into the middle, under no real pressure. He cuts it back. Couldn't grab hold of it. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. He has teammates around him. Terrific piece of anticipation. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Chance to finish. Brilliant save. Oh, can you believe this? Back from the brink and wild celebrations on the touchline. be desperate to lift that cup oh off the post still alive oh sloppy passing and still danger here camera and still looking to get the shot off oh really commanding goalkeeping shake du Coure. and threading it through superb stop It's with Camara. This could be troublesome. And he's in. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality about it. Everyone here, including the players, just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments. 
the trophy will soon be theirs. Well, it's been a long wait, but it's worth it. Celebrating in front of their own fans. They've been excellent this season. They fully deserve to be the champions. And that is a vivid picture of what we associate with this group of players. It's all about the team ethic. You can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And now they prepare to walk together in anticipation of the trophy presentation. Well, it's now just beginning to sink in. They are the winners of the Great Cup. Any second now, they'll be able to hold this aloft. All congratulating each other, and rightly so. A sweet taste of success. And they don't want to let go of that trophy, do they? Absolutely not. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been brilliant throughout the tournament. Top-class performance from them and their fans. with the fans they've certainly played their part they've made so much noise over the season really lovely scenes here and they're going to be continuing for a while i think Eagles never die, the claret and blue, eagles never die, listen to the fans sing, we did it guys, we finally did it, we had our anomaly season, the Leicester season, Crystal Palace are Premier League champions, what a comeback from three down, what a comeback, I'm lost for words, I just want to go and celebrate with the lads and continue to hear that wonderful chorus that the fans are singing. <sighs> they should make a chant singing my name poet. They should be singing poet somehow. That's a welcome surprise. 176 million prize money. Hopefully that filters down into the transfer kit for next season or will tell next year. Danilo, fantastic player, came in in January, did his job and look at this mentality from Edward. I took him off for Ayu at the end but he's saying he wanted to play all the games even though we're champions he wanted to play all the games I love that mentality from him mentality monster led from the front scored all the crucial goals that we needed all oh, year Edward, I salute you and um, it's going to be interesting to see how this might have affected you going into the new season if you want to stay for the challenge as we go for world supremacy. So as it ends guys, we're top two points clear of Arsenal. So imagine we drew those last two games. <laughs> it was tight. I really didn't want to do that because I knew Aston Villa was our bogey side. And you know, with bogey side, especially Villa, they could have definitely spoiled the party. Co coincidentally, they finished sixth. They, and if they won, they could have probably went into a European spot. Spurs 7th, Newcastle 8th, Man United 9th. I'm surprised that Man City snuck into a top 4 spot as well. And, um, you know, it's pretty much more of the same in the middle of the season. We've got Wolves being relegated. That's a potential opportunity because they have Cunha, who, who is an absolute pain up front. I could potentially bring him in. We have a couple youngsters. Um, in the youth squad and we have um, Cruz that's on the bench already that I want to invest the time into but Cunha is definitely a tantalising um, option that we can definitely bring in <laughs> man so the Super Cup was won by Real Madrid um, just to quickly run through the other finals so we have Liverpool and it's going to play Sporting in the Europa Cup Paris Saint-Germain is going to play AC Milan in the Champions League and we have Arsenal to come guys 
can we do a double? I mean, we just beat them to the title. They're going to be annoyed. We're going to be buzzing. It's going to be a hell of a game. Come on, you Eagles. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.